Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel She Sews Happiness. I'm Mary Ellen and this is where I share my love of sewing with you. So I think it's been a couple of weeks again, a bit of a hiatus. The whole going back to work after maternity leave, settling Henry into nursery has come with some challenges, mostly in the form of little bugs and germs and things like that. And unfortunately for the last few days, again, I have been unwell. I am still unwell. Um, but because I can do absolutely nothing else, I thought I'll come on for a chat and share with you some of the lovely things that I have been buying. And this week, my, my thought really is that if this was a shopping <laughs> YouTube channel, I'd be flying. However, it's not. It's a sewing channel. But for the last couple of weeks, sewing has really taken a back seat. Either the time just hasn't been there, or I haven't been well enough to enjoy anything um, remotely looking like a hobby. So shopping has been about the height of it. And while I do have lovely, lovely plans, I have beautiful um, fabric cut out and ready to go for the Jenny Stitches vlog. And fingers crossed on my day off this week, I will get that done and I'll be feeling so much better and able to do it. Um, yeah, it just hasn't happened as of yet, which is frustrating, um, particularly when I have it cut. The only good mercy is I had the sense to stay stitch any of the pieces that were on the bias, so fingers crossed all should be well when I come to stitch it. So, I am just going to jump on in and share with you some of the things that I have been acquiring. And... I just wish I was acquiring the time that goes along with them. You know, I used to always think to myself, every time I bought a book, imagine the luxury of getting the time to read that book when you bought it. And honestly, the same has kind of happened to me when I'm buying fabric. I'm like, really? Why can't I just invest in that time? But alas, time is short. Demands, I suppose, and all of us are increasing all of the time. And in trying to strike a balance, something's got to give. And sewing has definitely been it for me. So, yeah. <laughs> all of my spare time is just catching up. I think I'm catching up on all the time that I'm not spending with Henry. And I think the transition from maternity to returning to work has been harder than I could ever have imagined. I knew it would be difficult but I just never realized how much you can struggle to strike the balance thereafter. And it's only been a month, so I'm going to give myself a little grace um, and, and not, not judge myself too harshly, but hopefully it will come a little bit more naturally in time. So let's see what I've been buying, <laughs> uh, usually in the little small hours of the morning when Henry's teething or has decided that he's just hungry because I think he's going through another growing spurt and that's fine because after the last month of bug after bug after bug, I think he can afford to go through another little growing spurt. So let me see, I've lots of bits and pieces this time, lots of different little things that I have been acquiring and I'll show you some of the jerseys. There's actually a lot of jersey here, so the old cover stitch and overlocker are gonna be getting busy. And the first ones I have are from Jenny Stitches. So Jenny was showing these off in one of her Friday lives and I couldn't resist them thinking forward towards Christmas and knowing that the excessive leave that I have left will get used in December, I got this beautiful little polar bear print to make a couple of cute garments for Henry. And then I bought this for myself, this gorgeous forest green with berries and little deer on it. I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. And the really lovely quality cotton jersey, as is typical when shopping with Jenny Stitches. Um, you know, I find her jerseys to be of really, really high standard. So I've got those. And then I got some more. Um, little stuff fabrics from First for Fabrics and these are solely for Henry so there was some selfless shopping happening and um, this one I absolutely adored and I think I'm just going to make a little tracksuit there's like over a meter I think maybe it might even be a meter and a half 
there, but I'm going to make a little tracksuit for him out of that. And Tamlin kindly matched up the ribbing for me as well. So that'll look really, really cute. And then again, thinking forward towards Christmas, I got a little of these little um, penguins. I think there's only half a meter here, but that's enough to make a really cute festive little sweater. And it's not so festive that it can't be worn throughout winter. So that's that. What else do I have in terms of jersey? Let's see. Ah, yes. So I got some ridiculous novelty fabric for myself. Um, and this was from Blooming Fabrics. And this was basically the last of a run that they had from their last printing. And I absolutely adore um, the little mice in Cinderella. I'm a 40 year old woman, but I couldn't resist this cotton jersey. Wait till you see. Look at the little mice stitching away, having a great time preparing Cinderella's dress. So yeah, it's ridiculously twee, ridiculously girly. Can I pull it off? God only knows, but I'll certainly give it a go. And there's two meters there, so there's enough to make a basic jersey dress. And I will wear it. And I may look ridiculous. We'll see, we'll see. I bought a couple more jersey fabrics, but I'm gonna wait and share those with you at the end because they're just really, really lovely. Um, but what else have I got then? So, from Fumble Fabrics, Fumble Fabrics, a weird one to say. I got a couple of remnants in their last remnant drop. I have a dress in this beautiful Robert Kaufman print and I'm hoping it fits me for Halloween. I think it will because I have lost a few pounds. Um, just it, it wasn't fitting the last time I tried. So this I bought, I think it's about 80 centimeters, 90 centimeters, just under a meter. And I'm going to make a matching bag to go with that dress. Fingers crossed if I get the time. We'll get it pre-washed anyhow and then it's ready to go. And I also got, again, it's a remnant of a fabric I already have in my stash and it's a Timeless Treasures kitty fabric and I really love Timeless Treasure prints. And these little kittens at the movies, I have a few meters of this fabric already um, but I have it to make a dress and I just picked up this little remnant again to make a little bag to go with that dress and I think that would look really really cute with a little um, gold shoulder strap or something like that and um, just a little chain and a little clutch so that's what that's for. Again then from Blooming Fabrics we're going back to the same place I bought my Cinderella print from. I got some of this to make a little shirt for Henry for Halloween. Now if I don't get time this year that's fine I can do it next year, but I just thought, let's introduce the boy to the classic monsters while he's young. Why not? I also got some little Mandalorian themed print to make a couple of little gift bags for Christmas. Again, I think there's only half a meter or something here and it's small. It says the best things come in small packages. So I thought that would be absolutely adorable to make tiny gifts and to package them up in little bags made from that fabric and the other thing I got was the little suits look at them and again I've no idea what this is for this is just to make some nice little projects you know even like little cosmetic bags or something lovely now and again so that's that then I bought this from Missy Mop Fabric so Nikki uploads to her website every so often and every time I go by I'm looking for something new and this time there was something that just got me. I love cottons as you know and this is a 100% cotton print. It's got such amazing retro vintage vibes and I think it's called like working woman or something like that. So look at that print. Isn't it fab? You've got your waitress, you've got your sailor. What else have we got? Yeah, they're just all stereotypical service and repair. Um, so yeah, there's a girl working in a garage. I liked it, so I decided that I was going to get it. And for some reason, I think the lights are going funny in this room. Or at least the camera is going funny with its lighting. 
So yes, I got that and I also picked up some lovely vintage buttons from Nikki while I was there. So I don't know if this will zoom in nicely or not, but hopefully you can see just lovely white, silver and Diamante buttons. So what else have I got then? Ah, yes, a few other things. I got some Pigeon Wishes buttons, which I do ever so regularly because they are my ultimately, like ultimate favourite. And I do not remember off the top of my head what they are called, these particular buttons. But I got these to go with some projects that I'm hoping to be able to stitch up this month. We'll see. And also, you also get a lovely, lovely label in there as well saying, Blooming lovely. They always get sent in the package. So I love my Pigeon Wishes buttons. And oh, I've got some wool, which I forgot about too. Then what else do I have? I <laughs> loved this. So this I have purchased from, from Fabric, yeah, Fabric Godmother. I'm starting to forget where I've been shopping. And this is a fabric which I actually already own in a gold colorway and I made myself a cashmerette all cut dress for New Year's the year before I got pregnant and I haven't worn it ever since so I'm gonna to have to pull it out and see how it fits but I loved it so much that when I saw it for sale um, over at Fabric Godmother I managed to get some of the red colorway. I was really tempted to get some of the other as well and I think there may also be a black but I'd already bought some lovely black sparkly fabric, so I didn't go down that route. The lovely black sparkly fabric that I bought is here. It's a tool and it's from New Craft House. And I bought this to make an overlay of a dress again for the festive period. And I mean, look, look at the sparkle. Isn't it fabulous? I'm kind of regretting not buying more of it. There's some left on the website, I might actually go and do that. But lovely sparkly tool, which I think will look fabulous over the festive season. And yeah, apart from that, then the only other thing, oops, that was my Dermalogica. Um, the only other thing I've got to show you is my So Haley Jane fabrics. So these arrived on Friday. And again, I was too ill. I didn't even open it until last night. We're now on Sunday. Yeah, it was Saturday night before I even got around to peeking inside. And it's a lovely box this month. So this month was the first month of the fat quarters having been replaced for a full length of fabric. So there was like a one meter length of fabric in here instead. And let me just show you what came in the box this month. So as usual, you have the lovely little magazine that Haley collates herself and a lot of work seems to go into this and the theme on the front is it's a kind of magic so getting into spooky season I thought that was lovely so in here you have so many lovely things you have an interview with pigeon wishes who by the way are the gift in this month's box and if I'm correct they're a very similar colorway to the buttons that I got myself. So I've actually bought these before and I've used these before. I think on a True Bias Marlowe sweater, if I'm correct. Um, so they'll definitely get used up. Um, so yeah, there's an interview in there with Pigeon Wishes. Then there are project picks for the one meter of fabric, which if I just show you now, is this lovely Starry Starry Night themed cotton which I think would make beautiful um, gifts for Christmas as well let's see pop that in there um, you've got your make of the month that's always featured you've got the fabrics made into something you also have um, interview by wardrobe by me and I think the pattern in the luxury box was a wardrobe by me pattern I don't get the luxury box because I don't tend to go for mainstream patterns and most of the patterns that I see in the boxes I wouldn't make for myself. Um, and there's a maker's gallery of what people have been making with fabrics before. There's a profile interview with someone who's been subscribing to the box for a while. Then there's some pattern picks 
by New Craft House. No, not New Craft House. The fold line with a spotlight on New Craft House. One of my favourites. And then there's little links, so Haley's little links, which I always like to check out, her recommendations in books and movies and films and things like that. And then you also have in the back, like a little project sheet and a what's in the box, just for reference as well. Just, that's a quick summation. You always get a sweet treat. And I quite like these actually, or at least I did when I was little. We'll soon find out if I do. And you also get your thread which ties in nicely with the fabric I just showed you, but it's really to go with the main fabric in the box, which this month, whoops, the box is gonna disappear, is this fabric here. So it really works lovely. And this is a beautiful print. I like this actually. It's almost like a tie-dye effect, but that gorgeous botanical print, I just think is beautiful. Um, it makes me think of sunsets and dusk and I just think it's lovely um, and it's a viscose twill so while it's nice and light and has drape it's got a little bit of structure built into it so really nice as a transitional autumnal piece so I'll pop that all back in the box for whenever I get the chance to do anything with it I have to be honest I've been amassing these lovely boxes and I think I've maybe stitched one of the fabrics so far so hopefully Hopefully that'll change in the future. And then this I haven't even opened yet. So this is from Beautiful Knitters because, you know, I don't have time for anything, but let's pretend that I'm buying time to knit as well as sew and cross stitch and all of the things I love to do. And I just could not resist these beautiful balls of wool. So these are just two gorgeous little um, balls of black cashmere. So soft so so beautiful and this is to make up just a little um marble style scarf little finish inspired scarf to wear in the winter and then i got myself some merino as well and to be honest i forget what i got this for but i've already printed the pattern that i bought this for it'll be sitting on the printer so i'll have to remind myself but again super super soft absolutely beautiful and hopefully again there will be time to stitch some of that up as I say I do have a lot of excess leave that I need to use we're talking in and around 400 hours of excess leave so yeah in the next four months that's pretty good <laughs> so with that I will bid you adieu because there is absolutely no beautiful sewing to be showing you as of yet Hopefully the next time I'm here, I'll be able to share with you some of the stitching that is happening in my head, if not in reality. But until then, hopefully you're all doing well and I will catch up with you soon. Happy sewing. Bye.